drama around who becomes the 46th president of the United States of America has taken quite an unpredictable turn in the last few days. Democrat candidate Joe Biden has been projected to win the election by the current counting statistics. Unless something noteworthy happens in the next few days, Trump's stay at the White House will be interrupted by Joe Biden in January of 2021, but he has refused to accept that. He argues that there were fraudulent activities in the electoral process and illegal proceeding might ensue. First of all, it is important to note that Trump might not get a shot at the Supreme Court just yet. The Supreme Court mostly handles cases appealed after decisions by lower courts. But as the Supreme Court ever nullified results in a presidential election in the United States, yes. It was in the 2000 U.S. presidential election, Texas Governor George W. Bush was the candidate for the Republican Party while sitting Vice President Al Gore was nominated for the Democrats. After the October 7, 2000 election, Bush had a total of 246 electoral votes while Gore had 255 votes. But the results in New Mexico, Florida and Oregon were too close to call. Gore would go on to win, the, win New Mexico and Oregon in the next few days taking his total electoral votes to 267, but he needed 270 to win. That meant that the winner of Florida, 25 electoral votes, would become, would become the next president of the United States of America. After the first count, Bush led by 1,784 votes, warranting an automatic recount in accordance with Florida state laws. After a series of machine and manual counts in the next few days, the Florida Supreme Court ordered another recount, but Bush, Bush legal team tabled their concern in the U.S. Supreme Court. The courts ultimately stopped the recount, which means that Bush ultimately wins the election with a small margin of just 537 out of 6 million votes. Okay. So, uh, invariably, what uh, this writer is trying to say is that uh, the Supreme Court has decided the winner of the United States presidential election once in history. And because of what's, you know, talking about what really happened before now. So, anything could really happen. But uh, uh, we are still going to keep our finger crossed. Let's see what comes out of the whole thing. Whether Trump is right, whether Joe Biden is right, whether Democrats, uh, because it's like it's just... Donald Trump, that is just a, is the one who is spearheading the whole thing because we've never seen anybody apart from him coming out to speak. But on behalf of the other party, who is a, that is a Democrat, you know, they are just like a, a one unified a, a group or party. Nobody's really coming out to say this or to say that. And I could remember the last election in 2016, and they had even the, the so called Democrats, which a Hillary Clinton uh, belong to, you know, they had their own misgivings, but they just felt that, okay, since uh, he had won, because, like, they always talk about the popular vote, the man, the woman won, but it is the, this thing they are always concerned about, this uh, ele electoral college or whatever, but they ask, they allowed him, but underground, they were still going with uh, their own findings, okay, whether it was uh, Russia that helped him or my practice and what have you, but they still allowed him, I remember, Obama, the third or three, the third day or fourth day, he, he allowed the man in and he started giving him briefing on how it should go. But within them, even on that day, I saw Obama, he was not happy because his candidate didn't win. They just allowed the sleeping dog to lie, but they had to continue looking for loopholes to be able to nail uh, Donald Trump. But they didn't do that. But in this case, this man just fed the, the current president who is a, who happens to be uh, Donald Trump, he does not want to take anything. He's not. He does not even give. He's not ready to give anybody chance. And one of the Republicans, uh, senators, has come out to say, "Oh, you have to do the right thing, irrespective of what is going to come out at the end of the day." But as it is now, the first person that gets to that uh, electoral college, you know, has to be winner, even if he gets the popular vote at the end of the day. So you just have to do the right thing because to them, you know, some things are not ju just right. But again, in another breath, are you going to say? Uh, if uh, Trump is really 
sure of what he's talking about that uh, he's being played or they defrauded him of course he has the right to do so so that's why we said let us keep our finger crossed and see and know what will come at at the end of the day i think that's the most important thing anything can happen you know some things must have been done for a very long time it does not make it right it should just take somebody one day to say no this cannot continue to to be even if everybody has been say, taking it that way some things must change because some people are just like oh let's the sleeping dog lies let everything go we don't just want this and we just want to protect our integrity we want to protect the nation but the way it is now everybody's like oh how what how are mighty fallings so this kind of a thing can really happen in the u.s you know trump has been bringing out a, a lot of videos you know trying to buttress his fact that yes there was a electoral uh, fraud he has the right to do that and let us see whether the supreme court or the court or whatever but at the end of the day people have say have said all the uh, evidence is trying to bring just take it to the court and let's see what happens there so that's just the way i see the whole thing but let's see, keep our finger crossed and know what happens at the end of the day but before we allow you to let us know what you think in the comment section let's take some few um reactions from other people as well well uh, of course you know that a lot of people are not really smiling some people are happy some people are not happy some people are fighting each other so hardly but at the end of the day it's just politics and nothing more uh, the world looks onto america especially developing world any mistake of greediness we truncate democracy in africa okay um a response that this particular person god says that hey, i'm not being prejudicial I gave an instance where it has happened before. Don't even support Trump. In 2000, God was declared the winner of the election. Bush even called to congratulate him. Okay. Hot retracted it. Okay. He later retracted it when he realized there was still a chance of winning Florida, which would give him 25 electoral votes. Okay. This is my convincing that Trump will definitely win in court possibly but not probable i don't feel joe biden will be president of united states he cheated and should be taken to the court let trump continue because he won the election that is another person's belief so i say yes he won the election period okay you are citizens and in the united states go and swear trump in in january 20 next year okay january 20th next year why are you uh prejudicial as he given as he even taking his court to a uh, case to court do you know the merits or demerits of his case before the court please allow the court to decide when it comes to it donald trump will win by god's grace that is another person's belief that by god's grace irrespective of anything his own is just that he must win anyhow anyhow so guys let's say your opinion leave your comments below and listen your thoughts thank you